Loblaws Case Analysis Loblaws has become the largest supermarket and pharmacy retailer with 2,400 plus stores currently operating, with ownerships of the many stores that we see today. For instance, Fortino's, No Frills, Shoppers Drug Mart, and etc. But just like any other business, a business is bound to have their downfalls, and in this case study, it goes over the severe customer issues in 2006 that made Loblaws change for the better. They initiated an action plan to ensure that this problem never happened again, taking steps such as upgrading their IT system, assessing their employees and customers, segmentation, and etc. Now Loblaws has an efficient customer service and a more effective supply chain. More information will be covered later on in their presentation. 1,400 Dominion workers in Newfoundland and Labrador made the decisions to go on strike, which currently has been going on for 11 weeks. 11 weeks from when the article was written. 11 Loblaws stores have been affected and no customer has set foot in any of these stores. Workers are asking for a higher wage and a restoration of full-time positions from part-time ones from Loblaws. They were only given an increase up until June of this year, which was only an additional $2 to their wages. People are still unsure of when this strike will finally come to an end, but hoping it'll end soon. The supply chain is the network of the processes, including facilities, policies, or activities needed for goods to be distributed from the supplier to the consumer. Loblaws has 27 distribution centers, which deliver products to more than 1,000 stores across Canada. Their distribution centers are equipped to support their six sectors of business as each requires specific treatment. An example of this is their largest manufacturing location in Ajax, Ontario, which supports fresh produce and pharmaceuticals, which is two of their six sectors, through efficient production and temperature control to ensure that the freshness of these products are maintained. Loblaws Logistics Plan is carried out through trucking transportation delivering goods to stores countrywide. Relating back to Loblaws Logistics, issues have arisen not with the plan itself, but the employees that play a key role in the execution of Loblaws Logistics operations. Employees have reported on several accounts of the lack of overtime pay and zero compensation for the missed hours that have been reported. A prime example of this is the employee Faye Salosman, who reported to CBC News of his undercompensation of working up to 56 hours a week. Similarly, Jennifer Goldarp, who is shown on the right, was led to leaving her position at Loblaws as a result of the same undercompensation of overtime pay. This displays the prioritization Loblaws uses. While their logistics plan has proved to be efficient and their trucking association is known as the largest in Canada, it is clear that their employees are not shown the same prioritization and recognition. Now moving on to the key performance indicators mentioned in the Loblaws case, this case establishes that its main focus is to improve customer satisfaction, maintaining the quality in its brand, and mobilizing their supply chain. These will be factors that enable them to sell as much as they could strategically to maximize their profits, while continuously getting feedback. The business is getting feedback from tracking their business by evaluating the differences in the trends and patterns received through collecting the data through their period of time. This is done to correct their imperfections and to improve the business overall. Doing this, they are continuously growing their business for the better and have the observations on improving their growth. This is allowing them to create the best versions of themselves, to be the most effective in their chain, and to promote themselves to push further in improving. However, moving on to the next slide, the topic being discussed is how the key performance indicators are doing nowadays. Due to COVID, everything has reached a limit. Businesses are facing difficulties and facing pressures on consumer satisfaction, as well as maintaining the quality of its brand is thoroughly done online to promote social distancing and safekeeping. However, mobilizing the supply chain has been limited due to a decrease in consumption of normal goods. This is because income has decreased tremendously due to COVID. The business is quite limited since they are unable to take action as they could due to this pandemic and are facing pressures to satisfy both consumers and the producers, which the Loblaws representatives share that they are trying to do their utmost best to be the best during this horrible time. 
Information and communication technology improved the network and supply chain of Loblaw. Loblaw's ERP system uses functions such as forecasting, making orders, delivering, better use of inventory, and decision making with the help of ICT. Deliveries are being made faster as they recommend stops to pick up deliveries, saving time. Loblaw uses perpetual inventory, which allows managers to track when each shipment arrives and how much inventory is needed. Managers also collect data of their customers' demand so that no product has an overstay. Loblaw does weekly tracks of their data, checking their supply indicator to ensure day-to-day functions work efficiently. These changes allowed Loblaws to make cost-saving decisions, satisfy their customer wants, reduce any systems that do not improve the business, and measure performance to improve their goals and targets. Loblaws sales in 2020 have increased with $85 million of COVID-19 related purchases. Revenue is $15.67 billion in 2020 and increased immensely since last year with the revenue of $14.66 billion. The revenue has increased due to the e-commerce implemented with home deliveries and its digital functionality. As sales increase this year, Loblaws is planning to spend more cost, about $6 billion on e-commerce and in-store operations as they've seen the profits it has made with this year.